हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते दिस इज रोहिणी मेरगू फ्रॉम डब्ल्यू आई टी सोलापुर द टॉपिक इज स्टोक्स थेरम सोल्यूशन पार्ट टू आई हैव एक्सप्लेन स्टोक्स थेरम विच इज एल एच एस पार्ट इन पार्ट वन एंड स्टोक्स थेरम सोल्यूशन विच इज आर एच एस पार्ट पार्ट टू विल बी एक्सप्लेन इन दिस वीडियो वेल एक्सप्लेनिंग दिस स्टोक्स थेरम सोल्यूशन वी हैव कंसिडर द सिलेंड्रिकल कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टेम so the topic is stokes theorem solution part 2 cylindrical coordinates learning outcomes at the end of this video you will be able to apply stokes theorem for a given vector field and you will be able to verify stokes theorem in cylindrical coordinate system stokes theorem let us write it first the theorem states that the closed surf line integral of h bar is equal to curl of h bar over the surface stokes theorem the theorem states that the surface integral of curl of a function so curl of a function surface integral over a surface bounded by a closed surface is equal to the line integral so here you can see line integral of the particular vector function the same vector should come here particular vector function around the surface on both sides there should be same field and on one side there is a line field on another side there is a surface field so the line is related with surface integral or line integral is related with surface integral so let us look at the solution part i am considering the rhs which is closed uh, curl of h bar dot ds bar as there is a term curl i need to first determine curl h bar in cylindrical coordinates so curl h bar in generalized way can be written like this when upon u v w u a i bar v a j bar w a k bar dou by dou y dou by dou j and dou by dou k u h i v h j w h k h i is the part along with the a i unit vector h j is the part along with a j unit vector h k is along with a k what is u v w u v w are the multipliers i j k are the coordinates so in different coordinates system this curl h bar will be giving the different uh, in different coordinate systems we can write the curl h bar based on the multipliers as well as the coordinates so what are the coordinates and the multipliers in the different coordinate systems so let us recall it so these are the multipliers in various coordinate systems on this side there are the coordinate system these are the coordinates which are written as i j k these are the multipliers which are written as u v w in cartesian it is x y z multipliers are 1 1 1 in cylindrical the coordinates are rho phi z and the multipliers are 1 rho 1 in spherical it is r theta phi and multipliers are 1 r r sin theta so here as the question is on cylindrical coordinate system let us focus on the multipliers in cylindrical coordinate system so i have focused on the cylindrical coordinate system where the coordinates or i j k are rho phi z respectively and the multipliers u v w are 1 rho 1 respectively so let us write this curl h bar in cylindrical coordinate system with these multipliers and these values here like this so this is the generalized equation in this equation i can put u v w that is 1 rho 1 after multiplication it will result in rho so it is 1 upon rho u a i v a j w a k will be a rho bar plus rho a phi bar and a z bar dou by dou i will be dou by dou rho and accordingly dou by dou phi and dou by dou z so these coordinates have been put as i j k u h i v h z w h k will be h rho rho h phi and h z so this is what is called as curl in cylindrical coordinate system now this is a question where we want to solve the curl we want to determine the curl in the cylindrical coordinate system for the given question so h bar given to us is rho cos phi a rho plus z sin phi a z bar now in this 
curl equation, I need to put the value of h rho, h phi, h z. What is h rho, h phi, h z? That can be found out from the given equation. The part along with a rho bar is nothing but h rho. The part along with a z bar is nothing but h z. So here I can write h rho is rho cos, cos phi and h z is z sin phi and the h phi, a term is not given here, so it is 0. So I can substitute these values in this equation. So I can put it like this, curl h bar is 1 upon rho. Everything else is same. Instead of h rho, I can put rho cos phi. Instead of h phi, here is h phi. Instead of h phi, I can put 0. Instead of h z, I can put z sin phi. So the curl in cylindrical coordinate system is written. We have substituted the values for the given particular question. Once this curl is known or once the curl equation has been written, let us uh, determine the actual value of curl h bar. For that, 1 upon rho is kept outside as it is. First of all, with respect to a rho bar, we have to multiply these two, dou by dou rho z sin phi minus dou by dou z 0. This term is written here. With respect to a phi bar, instead of a phi, there should be minus a phi. So with minus a phi bar, the multiplication of this middle should be left and others should be multiplied as dou by dou rho z sin phi minus dou by dou z rho cos phi. This term is written here. With respect to a z bar, skip the last column and multiply these two, dou by dou rho into 0 minus dou by dou phi into rho cos phi. The term is written here. So these three terms will simplify. So when we simplify, we get dou by dou phi of z sin phi will result as z cos phi. This is derivative 0, so the term will be 0. With, uh, with a phi bar, the term is dou by dou rho z sin phi. Everything is constant with respect to rho. So the answer is 0. Here also with respect to z, there is no term of z. Again, the answer is 0. In the third case, this term is 0 and in this term, there is a cos phi. Dou by dou phi of cos phi will result into minus sin phi. So minus rho sin phi. Continuing the same equation here, the equation is written here, we can simplify it like this, z cos phi a rho bar and all everything else is 0. So last term minus and minus is there can be written as plus rho sin phi a z bar. So curl h bar, after simplification, I can multiply this 1 upon rho inside the bracket, 1 upon rho z cos phi a rho plus here rho cancels out, so I get sin phi a z bar. Now I can find out curl h bar dot ds bar. So I got only curl h bar here, but I should now focus on ds bar. ds bar can be written in different coordinate systems as well as ds for ds bar, we should know in which plane we should write ds bar. So for that in the question it is given, given that the current is in az bar direction, meaning we should consider the surface in the az bar direction. And to write the surface, let us recall the different surfaces written, uh, different surfaces in cylindrical coordinate system. I have prepared the video on cylindrical coordinate system where I have explained how to write the differential surfaces. So the surface or area is multiplication of two lengths. This is a small section or differential uh, volume element of the cylinder. The surface or area is a vector quantity. It has three lengths as rho d phi. This is dz and this is d rho. So when I multiply these like here and here, if I multiply these two lengths, the direction is outward a rho bar, which is rho d phi dz a rho bar. Similarly, there can be the surface in the opposite direction minus a rho. When I multiply these two lengths, I'll be getting the surface in phi direction. When I multiply this curvature as well as this rho d rho length, I'll be getting as d rho rho d phi and the direction is positive az. Similarly, there can be a surface in the neg negative az bar direction. In our case, for the given question, with the given surface is in az bar direction, so we should consider ds bar as d rho rho d phi az bar. So here, I can consider the surface in az bar direction as ds bar is rho d rho d phi az bar and this is the question which is carried forward only the thing here which I changed is the surface which is rho d rho d phi az bar. 
Now, as you can see, I have highlighted AZ bar, AZ bar, which is cell dot product will be resulting one because AZ dot AZ is one. But here, if you see the vector, it is A row. A row with AZ will result in zero. So the first term goes to be zero, and only left over is the second term. Like integration of over the surface sine phi rho d rho d phi. So there is a integration with respect to rho as well as phi. I can separate out at the terms like this. I can write as rho d rho integration limit zero to two sine phi d phi integration from zero to sixty degrees. So this rho d rho can be written as rho square by two limits are zero to two. Sin phi, when I integrate, the result is minus cos phi. The limits are zero to sixty degrees, as per the question. So, rho square by two is the term that is obtained. The limits are two to zero to two. So it is four minus zero divided by two, and here is cos minus cos sixty degree plus cos zero. So the that thing is shown here. Four minus zero divided by two minus cos sixty degree plus cos zero. So 4 by 2 is 2, so cos 60 is 1 by 2, cos 0 is 1. So this will result in minus. This will result in 1 by 2, and this is 2. So this 2 and 2 cancels out, and I get RHS, which is surface integral of curl h bar dot d s bar, as equal to 1 ampere. As you know that we have seen the previous video where the Stokes theorem part one, where I explained that closed integral of h bar dot d l bar has resulted in one. In this video, I have explained where Stokes theorem part two. Here I have explained curl h bar dot d s bar, which is also giving me result one ampere. So I can say that L H S and R H S both are equal and equal to one amperes. so i can say here stokes theorem is verified it can be verified for any vector field the question asked was this verify stokes theorem and we have successfully verified the stokes theorem and in case the question is asked to determine curl h the closed integral of h bar dot dl bar by using the stokes theorem so this is the this video will be the answer for it i determined curl h bar i have determined this curl h bar over the surface which is 1 ampere and the same i can equate this value i can equate to closed integral of h bar dot dl bar so this will be the answer this video will be the answer for this second part so finally for both the cases the answer is 1 amperes these are the references used for preparing this video Thank you.